And to end DACA means nearly 800,000 immigrants or dreamers could be deported if Congress doesn't come up with an alternate plan. And that includes a local woman who came to the U.S. with her father when she was a toddler. President Trump had Attorney General Jeff Sessions deliver the news to thousands of undocumented young adults raised in America. The program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. Brought to the U.S. illegally as children, DACA kept Homeland Security from deporting them. I go to work, I come home, I, you know, do like donations, um, you know, pretty much I'm, I pay taxes. Um, you know, I do what every American does. This local woman who did not want to be identified came to the U.S. when she was just three. Under DACA, she, like 800,000 other dreamers, as they're called, were allowed to go to school, get a driver's license, and legally work in this country. But President Trump has started to dismantle the program put in place by his predecessor, Barack Obama. I mean, we've been through a lot. We've been through criminal background checks. We're clean. We don't, you know, we don't have nothing wrong with our records. And I feel like he should give us an opportunity to be here. In response to Trump's decision to phase out DACA, former President Obama said in part, we shouldn't threaten the future of this group of young people who are here through no fault of their own, who pose no threat, who are not taking away anything from the rest of us. President Trump has asked Congress to come up with an alternative to DACA. In the meantime, dreamers are worried about their futures. I don't speak that much um, Spanish, so I just feel like if I would go back home, I'm going to be lost. County Executive Rich Fitzgerald weighed in on the president's announcement today, saying we are extremely disappointed by this decision and urge Congress to act quickly to maintain this path to citizenship. A